Well, hi again. This is Catcom One here, and didn't that go fast? Wait, uh, no, it's not Friday yet. And um, despite what I said in my last video, I did realize I instead I but I realized I've after stopping my recording that I must have mistracked mistracked the time in which. I started recording the video and I ended up with a video that was quite a bit shorter than I'd intended so I decided I'll just pick right back up in another refracted reality video for today that I plan to have go for about 15 minutes or so and let's make some more progress in Map 3 Ravage. Sorry to any inconvenience about any inconvenience from having the video split. Oh. It's been a while on this watch since I got to fight a whole bunch of trash masters. Good time to pick up the berserk. At six percent health. You need both yellow and red score keys to enter. And I only have a blue score key. I doubt I'll finish in the time I have, but I'm not gonna leave my video so short for the day. Ooh, chain gun now. And the pedestal, and revenants on the others. I love those glowing red monster effect at the beginning. Uh, it probably pays to take cover sometimes from the revenants. Yeah, you ever hear the commercial, it pays to discover? Well, it also pays to take cover. <laughs> Figured I'd make a little pun or rhyme or whatever you want to call it there. I certainly get an advantage from auto-aim here. Not from auto-aim, I mean from mouse look here. This has some red textures on it that I'm not used to seeing. That texture I'm pointing my cross hair at right now almost looks like a texture I've seen out of Heretic, but it's brown in the heretic te texture's brown, well, that texture's red. Oh, I flipped the switch, I thought the bells would go away, they didn't. Instead I have to go back the other way. So this level I'm actually fighting with smaller weapons for a change so far. Oh yeah, you need both yellow and red score keys to enter, as highlighted by a yellow and red torch. In map 5, you needed either key, and depending on which way you went, you'd get one of them. In this level, you need both, it says. Oh, a false chance to void drop. Which... For whatever reason, this time actually is a teleport effect when you return. 
I don't know if that's intended or not. Okay, so we can see underneath the glass and that almost looks... Again, that almost looks like the lava you'd see in a quake level underneath the red, the red glass. Probably everything's tinted red underneath the red glass. We were given a little more weaponry, a super shotgun, and I hear a stamp out. Well, now we get to see the pop of the outside area pop out. Ooh, that cyber demon is active. I saw a rocket fly by. Might make this video as much as 20 or 25 minutes and just to make it stand itself a little more properly as a single video. I honestly meant to stop at about 30, 45 to 50 minutes and I ended up stopping at only 35 minutes. I must have misremembered the time as as I'm in which I started the last video. There's a lot of long distance fire out here. And there's a lot of hit scan trash trying to stop me from getting into that cave. <coughs> Yeah, it's gonna be another point where I probably got to start the fight and finish it. Oh. I mean, all that project, all that projectile hell is racing towards me by the time I try to retreat. make it in. I can make it in, but I've got 4% health. I need some health. Oh, there's some health. And there's double, apparently a plasma gun hidden underneath that health. Let me find someone save where I can at least have 25% health. Ravage. It sure looks like a ravage. Now this is probably death, I'm guessing. Yeah. That's an instant death pit. That looked like an instant death pit, and it was an instant death pit, and yet it's cool to just go... Ah! Now if I... What if I fall off to the side into the void? Nope, I can't. There's a wall blocking me from getting off to the side. That's not the void. That's a lava pit. That's instant death. Man, I can, I absolutely adore this lava aesthetic. I've never seen the lava aesthetic done this well in a Doom level before. I mean, this is the quality of lava aesthetic I'm, uh, I've, I'm used to seeing in maybe a good descent level or something. The 
this level almost looks like it has the same colors that you'd see in a Sayo level in a Descent game. Even though I'm supposed to be in, I'm really in hell here, as opposed to a Sayo level, but there's also some spots I can't see on the auto map. What happens if I try to cross this bridge? Oh, there's multiple ways to go. Well, there are multiple keys I can get as well. Just got to focus from one to the other in order to make it. Don't get a lot of health, Keo. That is out. Is there a secret down there? Just keep falling down, but don't fall into the lava. Well, there's still stuff able to shoot me. I might want to take care of what can shoot me if I'm able to. That those imp cliffs, those are true red barrels. Again, I just find my jaw dropping at the looking at that aesthetic. Just looking at that aesthetic and reminding myself that I'm playing Doom. This is not. Descent, well, I typically see lava falls like that. <laughs> the, wait, I, I should probably fall from stone to stone if I want to get everything. There is an awful find the uppermost stone I can f drop onto. <coughs> Come on. Can I ever aim my jump the right way? Okay, that's where I wanted to land. Oh, I really shouldn't have overwrote my save. I better hope there's a way out. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to cheat because I don't have another save. I'm gonna have to hope this is a. Whoa! Okay, where did I go? <laughs> Obviously, I fell somewhere I'm not supposed to fall, and... <laughs> I think I just soft-locked myself. Because I'm not supposed to fall, though. Like, you can even tell by the way the walls look. I'm not supposed to be able to fall in there. And also, that lava doesn't hurt me, which is odd. Uh oh. Have I fallen to a place in which I cannot escape? <laughs> Mm. 
I think I need to make it over to that platform there. I think I've given myself guaranteed death here, so I'm gonna have to fly out of this hole because I don't have a backup save and try that again. Apologies for the cheat. Let me have two saves here so I have get a chance to figure out if there's a it looks like a good place to hide a secret, but could it just be for aesthetics in reality? I mean, maybe why the lava doesn't hurt you is because you're dead anyways, even though you don't already know it. I don't think I can make up out what to do on those rocks at this point, if there even is anything to do. It might just be a slower but still show death. But I do see a backpack hiding there. This lava doesn't hold either. I might mention in feedback that the lava doesn't help. I'm not sure that's intended or not. Doesn't change the fact it looks beautiful, mind you. Ooh! There's an out vial there! This level does not give you a lot of extra stuff. Nope, I can't get in that. I can, but I'm just going to have less for the battle later if I do, so it's not really worth it. I need both a yellow and a red key ultimately to get out of here. It is just cool to have an out vial station there. Because I can get hit by so many other monsters trying to rush him. You're really not dead yet? Well, you're dead now. Save. Get myself in some kind of situation where I'm not about to die. Well. Oh. 
This level is so some difficulty spike from a uh, compared to the other autos that I've played from so far. And that's even without some of the lava being damaging. Really, you had to shoot me for you had to win the game of who shoots foes. Cause I'd love for that door to close behind me and it doesn't. I've got the race outside instead to have a little more cover from all the projectiles coming in my way. I hear the music, just a little bit of ambience. Okay, so now you'll put we've got 4D here as well. Like see this is the void. But when you walk through this door, it looks like you've got just this tiny cube and you've actually got the whole area. Th so that's that's definitely a 4D effect. Well, I can't get back out. Better not use too much ammo up and those man stones. So we're back outside and now we're in the voided area. Walk up those ramps, but do they lead anywhere? Oh, I see a supercharge. Man, could I use that supercharge? I see. Oh, finally, a rocket launch, child. I've got pain elemental, and a pain elemental is really gonna be a pain with this little help. Perhaps there was a reason they didn't put this teleporter next in the next... Perhaps there's a reason why they didn't put the teleporter to this level is actually last in the clockwise rotation if you start at the teleport to map 1 is because this level is really, really hard! It does not let itself up. You know, this only a big problem with the pain element dog. There's only two of them, but combined with all the other stuff, they're just spewing out lost souls.
Mind the silver and this. Get that super child. And have a little bit of a chance. Supercharge is about what I probably need for this area. Every time I get to catch a not duck from the Revenant rocket, there it really is no cover. The only solution is keep running. Run, run, run. You can run, you can't hide. Take hot shots. And just keep yourself moving. Can't fight a single monster. And you can't focus on just one particular monster when there's no hiding from any of them. I think my time limit for the day has well run out, so even though we're still in the heat of the fight that is maybe occurring in the heat of the night, I think I'm gonna call it a video at this point and this time I actually will be resuming on Friday or go well.